Thank you to UPDF for sponsoring this review. What is up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. I'm Michael Gonzalez. That's M-I-C-A, Gonzalez with a Z. And yes, I try productivity apps so that you don't have to. And today's app is going to be a fun, handy one. One that I can see myself using almost daily just because of how much I find myself browsing and working with PDFs every single day. Now that app is called UPDF, the sponsor of today's video, a PDF reader, editor, annotator, and converter. So the people behind the app asked me to try it out for free in exchange for a video review. And while this review is sponsored, all thoughts and opinions are on my own based on my experience trying and using the app in my day-to-day -day life. So keep that in mind as I go throughout the features of the app through this review. And I'm really excited to be reviewing this kind of app today because it's one of the first apps I get to review that's available for all major platforms like Mac, iOS, iPad, Android, Windows. And I often get requests to do more cross-platform apps on this channel. So I guess this is the start to that. And yes, to be perfectly clear here, UPDF is available on all platforms at just the cost of one license. So it's not like you're buying separate licenses if you have a Windows computer, but maybe have an iPhone or etc. which I think is a pretty notable thing that I have to mention right off the bat. So UPDF stands for Universal Productive Delightful Fast PDF Editor, which is cute. Its core features include being able to open and read PDFs, edit them with annotations, highlights, or signatures, convert them into different file formats, and combining different PDFs into one. But after trying the app for several days now, it actually does a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate all of these features so that you see how they work. Okay, so over here is my screen, is the UPDF app on my Mac. Uh, let's just go ahead and start uploading a file right here. So upload file, and I've got a PDF of the Velveteen Rabbit. So right after it uploads, you're gonna see it here in your cloud file uh, folder thing. And if you just wanna read it like any other PDF reader, you just kind of click into it. So it's pretty straightforward. And I think the most important things that you're gonna find yourself on with UPDF are all these uh, toolbars. So over here on the left, you're gonna see a bunch of different tools and on the right, a bunch of other tools. So let's go ahead and try the editing or kind of commenting, highlighting features of uh, UPDF, just because uh, that's something that I find myself doing the most when it comes to working with uh, PDFs. Um, and I know like a lot of you guys are like students, so you know this is, might be something that you find relevant. So when I click on comment here, uh, you'll see that it opens a top toolbar of a bunch of different ways I can comment or I guess annotate uh, the PDF. So there are ways to add a sticky note. Let's go ahead and do that. So maybe I'm like writing down my notes about this thing, like this is a cool intro right there. And you can change the sticky note color, which I always appreciate. I always appreciate having that kind of uh, customizability over here. Um, you can also do highlight. And one cool thing about UPDF is if you double click something, you double click a tool, it's gonna like hold the, the, the tool for you. So you can do like a continuous um, usage of that tool. So right now I'm on highlight and what I can do is I'm just gonna highlight <laughs> the uh, <laughs> fat and bunchy, I guess, description of the Velveteen Rabbit. Other things that you're able to do with the toolbar are the strike throughs, underlines, uh, text comments, a text box, um, and a text call out, which I find handy. Let me show you right here. So if I go ahead and put one here, I can go, um, description of rabbit. I know that's not the paragraph for the description of rabbit, so it's obviously pointing at the wrong call out, but I can drag it over here and just take this thing and kind of move it to where I want it to go. But yeah, you also have your standard shapes. Um, you even have like cool handy stickers, stamps, and signatures, which I, in my opinion, signatures are an absolute like must have when it comes to PDF apps. I just think like in this modern world that we live in with a lot of digital work going on like you have to have a pdf editor that makes it easy to add signatures into a document and creating a signature couldn't be easier on updf all you have to do is like go here create signature and then you can just go ahead and sign here S let's just say that's my signature you know <laughs> So there we go. And then you can just like kind of stamp it wherever you want. Now this isn't an, a document that's meant for signing, but we're just gonna go ahead and imagine that that is a signature line and I just signed the Velveteen Rabbit. You're welcome, everybody. Now let me show you something really, really cool about UPDF. So right under comment, there's a edit PDF tool. 
and if you click into it you're able to literally edit your pdf as if it were a word document uh, let me show you so right now i'm on the cover of my velveteen rabbit pdf so let's just say this was maybe something that you know i wanted to kind of edit a little bit i wanted to change it up i'm able to select anything whether it's text and i'm able to go in and change the font so i'm going to change the font from copper plate to hmm, Arial. So you're not only able to change the font style, but you can even change the text itself in a PDF. So maybe I wanted this to be uh, written by. You might notice like a couple bugs, like the font style isn't as uh, consistent as you might like, but you know, that's something that you can probably go in and edit eventually. Another cool thing though that I didn't think was possible was being able to even edit the photos and the images inside of the PDF. So over here you see the rabbit, right? So we can move it around and just like that, it's like it's like using Canva in a PDF editor. And I think that's just pretty cool, right? Under the edit PDF, you're able to organize pages, just dragging and dropping, that kind of thing. You're also able to crop pages if you want like less white space or if you just like want things to look a certain way, just want to make them look better, then you have that option as well. Now I'm gonna show you another cool thing about UPDF, which is their OCR reader. I'm a big fan of apps that have this just because it's so useful in my day to day life. I'm gonna go ahead and actually import a new file and it's gonna be a scanned PDF. So as you can see, I can't like highlight anything. I'm trying to highlight something and I can't because it doesn't really recognize that there's any text here because it's a flat image. But if I click on recognize text using the OCR tool, what I can do is I can turn it into a searchable PDF. And what that means is it's essentially going to turn the entire PDF into an editable one. So you can do all of the cool things that, you know, I showed you just now with um, my normal PDF, the Velveteen Rabbit. So now we just wanted to take a moment to compare some of the features between UPDF and Adobe Acrobat, which we all kind of know is a longtime player in the PDF field. So over in this table, you're going to see uh, all the features that Adobe Acrobat might have that UPDF doesn't, but you're also going to see the features that UPDF might have that Adobe Acrobat doesn't. Now, depending on what you're looking for in a PDF reader and editor, you may or may not need features like this. For my own use case, I sure don't uh, need anything too fancy. So Adobe Acrobat is kind of, you know, just not really fit for all of my use cases. And I'm more than happy to stick to UPDF. So especially at the price point compared to Adobe Acrobat, UPDF is just really tough to beat. Now some final thoughts. What I like most about UPDF is that it takes a lot of the features, commands, settings that you might get with other longtime players in the PDF reading and editing field, but the experience of using the app, it's just easier and more delightful. I've tried many a clunky PDF tool and things like highlighting, adding text, notes, it just it feels boring or it just doesn't feel as good. But UPDF takes away a lot of those annoying pains and gives me the PDF editing experience that makes me wish I were back in school with all my readings and research, grabbing quotes from here, annotating all my notes from classes and all that stuff. But even now in a professional setting, I see it fitting into my workflow with the handy OCR feature that converts scanned images into searchable text adding my signature to documents, and even combining separate PDFs into one to make things like reports or research easier to share and present. If you liked what you saw here and want to try UPDF for yourself, you can get an exclusive 50% off discount by clicking on the link in the description box below. Remember, one UPDF license is available across all your devices, so really, it's a steal. And until my next video, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more productivity app videos just like this one. And if you can't wait, I recommend watching this playlist full of all my digital productivity favorites.